And I told you yesterday, you can never have too many reminders. FIFA starts tomorrow on this channel. Um, so we'll have another Milan episode out as normal at 4 o'clock. But then 6 p.m. there will be my very first FIFA 17 video. So keep your eyes out for that. And let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to it. Hello and welcome to part 33 of the Milan Mission. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we have the second part of our Europa League second knockout round, second leg thing against Shakhtar. Uh, plus we're playing Sassuolo at home in the league. The league, I think it's safe to say, is just about wrapped up. We're 18 points clear at the top of the league with nine games left to go. Um, we've got more than double the goal difference of Juventus who are behind us. We've only lost one game all season. Um, to Juventus um, yeah we're doing all right in the league so our focus turns to the Europa League it would be lovely to do a bit of a double unfortunately in the first leg we conceded um, an away goal so we're only taking a very slender 2-1 league to Shakhtar um, for the second leg which is coming up first on this episode and this is the team that we're playing Jack Butland in goal, a back four of George, Romagnoli, Zuma and Makey, with Bazoa and Maori in midfield, Goncalo, Guedes, Lamar and Gabriel Barbosa in behind Luan. It's just about the strongest team we could possibly field. In fact, I can't think of any change I'd want to make to that. That is the strongest team we can possibly field. If this isn't enough to get past Shakhtar, um, then I don't think, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm terrified at the prospect of the Champions League next season, if that's the case. Because we should be able to beat Shakhtar with this team. This is an excellent side that we're putting out. Why can we not start the game? Come on, start. Right, here we go. Press, yeah, press lots of buttons. La, 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 la. Right, here we go. This, of course, illustrates the other advantage of signing Jack Butland. I know we spent a lot of money on him, but because he was coming from Watford, not cup tied in Europe, so we've been able to slot him straight into our team in Europe. Although Donnarumma has been playing in the first legs and played for all the group games we're now at a stage where we need our first choice team out Donnarumma you've done fine to get to this stage but from here on in we're playing the first choice team every game league takes second fiddle blah. the league we've got our way goal back excellent that's the difference maker I think we're through now there you go calling it after less than 10 minutes uh, but no we're so far ahead in the league that I, I think we can safely switch the priorities around to where they've been up until this point so we'll start fielding the reserves in the league and the first choice in the Europa League I guess well not the reserves but the rotated version of the team so Donnarumma will get some league appearances which he hasn't really had all season and Butland will um, will take over in the Europa League it also means we might see league appearances for the likes of Benzema Rashford Danilo um, the Gomez brothers maybe, Lazar, all these players who have played most of our Europa League campaign, drop them like a stone now and go and try and win the goose darn thing. Right, how are we doing? 15 minutes in, possession fairly even. They've had a clear-cut chance, we haven't, but we've scored and they haven't. So, ha 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 ha, Shakhtar, who cares? Um, we're great, you're not, etc, etc. Um, oh, hang about. Oh, don't... Don't make Nina noises at, at the opposition, especially when you're only 17 minutes into the game. They're prone to come back and do stuff like that to you. These two teams are actually surprisingly evenly matched. We found it in the first leg. We were expecting to absolutely thump them in the first leg. And they're better than I expected them to be. Is Shakhtar any good in real life? I find it hard to believe because they're only in the Europa League. But, I don't know, it's been one of the, one of the tougher challenges we've had in Europe in this save. And we've played the likes of Barcelona... Obviously, Juventus, Man United, Bayern Munich. We played some big, big clubs. Um, did we play Bayern Munich? I know we played someone German. It might have been Dortmund, actually. Oh, God, the tie is level. What is happening? How is it happening? We're behind against Shakhtar. That away goal that we picked up early on is, is proof. <laughs> I mean, if we hadn't scored it, we'd be ruined around about now. So it's now level. If it stays like this, extra time is upon us. It's not going to stay like this, so surely we're both playing so attacking. And the advantage is all our goals effectively count double from here. Um, or at least while the while the tie is still close. So if we can nab another goal now, make it 2-2, two -two, they have to score two to knock us out. That's right, isn't it? So we need to go and get a goal. We're capable of doing that. We've been scoring goals for fun all season. Surely we can go and 
Grab another one or two now. That that would be. I mean, now's now's the time, lads. If if they score, then I worry a little bit. Oh god. Mm. I don't know. I don't understand how this game is so close. We should be thumping them. Right, Lamar. Cross to Gabriel Barbosa and there's the goal. It's his 15th of the season. Now that's important because none of this extra time nonsense now. Either they beat us by massively outscoring us or we're going to go through either by away goals or by being in the lead like we are at the moment. So it's 4-3 on aggregate at the moment. Even if... They grab a goal. We're still ahead on away goal, so they need two to knock us out. If we can grab another goal here, we put this tie to bed with a little bit of time to spare. Although we thought we'd done that once already. Right, Lamar to Goncalo Guedes. Oh, he tried something a little bit cheeky there. He probably should have squared the ball, but there wasn't really anyone in the middle. So I can understand why he went for the spectacular, but it didn't really come off. Um, and we're picking up yellow cards in this competition again. We've already we already had one game earlier in the Europa League campaign where we had three of our first choice back four all out suspended at the same time because basically if you if you sneeze in the general direction of a yellow card you get a suspension in this competition. Um, so I imagine we have suspensions in our future. Right, Rashford is on on the left wing for Gonzalo Guedes, um, and then we're going to bring why not bring Benzema on for Luan as well? Let's have them both on. I mean, that's that's a nice attacking substitution to be able to make. Two proper strikers on for two more midfield player -y type people. Um, now's, now's the time to go and grab that extra goal and put the tie to bed. Clear cut chance wise, we've let them have three. We're quite lucky they've only scored two of them. Why Why do we have to make things so difficult for ourselves? This was supposed to be a nice relaxing run into the season. Let's go a nice, have a little Europa League win. Last time we're going to play in this stupid competition, let's go and win it. Last time we have to worry about winning the league. We're, we're nearly 20 points clear. We'll just win the league with ease every year now. This was supposed to be the point where we spent the last, I don't know, realistically, where are we? It's, what is it, October? I don't, I'm recording it so far in advance, I don't know. I think it's October now. If not, it's nearly October. The, the beta is two or three weeks away. Probably three, four weeks away, maybe. We're only going to have another two seasons, maybe, after this one of the Milan Mission. It was always pla it was always planned to be like a 50-episode series. Oh, God. So we need to be solidly in the Champions League for the next two years with a view to winning it in one of those years and proclaiming ourselves a European superpower again. Right, it's 4-4. We're now ahead on away goals. But how does away goals work? In the Europa League. A, is it even a thing? And B, does it count before or after extra time? Hopefully we won't need it. Oh, Lamar forcing a save out their keeper. They've now had four clear-cut chances today to our two. We are being outplayed by Shakhtar. Um, I, feel, it, I mean, it is a bit of a mugging. It's a mugging. We are mugging them at the moment. Assuming we're ahead. And I don't really know. It doesn't have the little A after our four. That I, does, he, does that in football manager? Does it usually do that? I can't remember. Makey... Uh, are away goals a thing in this competition? Somebody tell me. Um, oh, they're, they're not, are they? Oh, I'm panicking. This is horrible. I don't know if we're ahead or behind. This is a new sensation that I, I've not experienced anything like this before. This is genuine panic. I don't know whether or not we're winning. I don't know what to do. And, oh, God, if they score again, it doesn't matter because they're definitely winning then. Just, did did, did we win? Did we win the game? I think we won the game. Um, yeah, we won it. That's all right then. There you go. We're through to the next round of the Europa League. Now let's go and hopefully pick up another win in the league. Right, before that match, we have draws. Draws, everybody. So quarterfinal, then semi-final, I guess. So who have we got left in the competition? I realise my head's probably in the way, uh, but I'm going to read them out to you. Deal with it. Goodness me. So it's AC Milan, Athletic Bilbao, not Atletico Madrid. I made that mistake last season, I think. Um, Dynamo, uh, Marseille, Arsenal, Celta, um, Olympiacos and Spartak Moscow. There's a lot of beatable teams in there. The only ones we're... Uh, the only one, I guess, we're really afraid of is Arsenal because we know they've recently won the Premier League. Um, so presumably we'll, we'll have to play them. So... Um, Olympiacos get Athletic, Spartak Moscow get Celta. It's looking more likely we're going to play Arsenal. AC Milan, so we're at home in the first leg. We'll play Dynamo. I can live with that. And then Arsenal playing Marseille. Um, I think we then go straight into the semi-final draw. Is that how it works? Or 
yeah, semi semi final draw now. So now uh, this is confusing. Why does it happen like this? I don't understand. So Arsenal or Marseille will play us or Dynamo. So I guess we get past Dynamo, play Arsenal in the semi final, and then it'll be a final against one of those four teams. Spartak Moscow, Celta, Olympiacos or Athletic. We can win this competition, everybody. We just need to beat the teams that we get. I mean, it's so obvious we've got to beat the teams we play against. Well, sometimes things don't even need saying. Who writes this? Right, massive rotation for the Sassuolo game. Um, looking at our fixtures now, it all starts to get a little bit crowded for the running, especially if we do continue our Europa League run. Um, so we've got a little bit of space for a couple of weeks. Um, there's international games around this time as well. So I think midweek international stuff, weekend is matches well actually no after this after this match is two weeks off we're rotating anyway everyone's tired and they showed against Shakhtar they all need a rest so let's rotate we're miles clear at the top of the league I don't think we can win the league today but we're far enough ahead to not worry too much um Donnarum is going to be in goal Lazar and Little Gomez come in as the fullbacks but we keep our normal centre-backs in uh Danilo comes in from Maori in midfield Bonaventura comes in on the left of midfield Sabalos um in the middle Lamar moves out to play on the right and Benzema comes in up front a massively changed team um yeah he's being rested that's fine um because he's the other left back we've got at the club i mean who did you think was going to play there goodness me the questions i get asked um i just need to fiddle with the front three i know a normal person would do this before the match um but i'm i'll forget to change it back so this way because doing it in match it means it's not a permanent change it's just for today's match i can fiddle around with it a little bit like this They'll play in the roles I want them to play with and I won't have to forget to change it back for the next game and wonder why everyone's playing rubbish because they're in the wrong role when we have the normal players back in. See, it all makes sense in the mind of Kev and that's all we need to worry about. So, the situation. Can we win the league today? How far ahead are we? We are 18 points clear. If we win, we'll be 20 points clear with eight games left. Maths. I can't do that. It's late at night. Um, go on, get in. Oh, the cross is a bit too long from Little Gomez. So 20 divided by 8 is, no, it's 2.5. We can't win the league today. We could win the league next game, though. Is that right? Maybe, depending on what... I mean, Juventus have just fallen apart. They're like us from the last three seasons. Um, they just seem like they're really struggling to pick up wins. They've also only lost one game like we have. But for us to be... 18 points ahead of well 17 points ahead of them but for us to be this far ahead of them it just shows they're they're drawing too many games the same way we were they've obviously lost the ability to score goals just as we found it although you know donnarumma fan club down in the comments here we are again mr wonder kid goalkeeper he could have done better there look at the state of that he didn't even point at it like eggs would have done i mean what what is that He's got one of those stupid little undershirts on under his actual kit. Just wear a long sleeve goalkeeper's shirt. What's wrong with people now? Oh. Um, right, well, we're losing. We've only lost once all season, and that was against Juventus. I know Sassuolo, I, put, I mean, this would this pushes them into a Champions League spot if it finishes as it is. But we really can't have Juventus losing fewer games than us because they'll be able to give us all the whole, well, we're still the harder team to beat, and it is Italy, so that's what counts really nonsense. We need goals in the second half. We've obviously got all the big guns on the bench. Um, well, the, the the main one, Barbosa. We've got Luan down there as well. We've got Gonzalo Guedes. We've got Maori. We've got plenty of attacking players. We've got Marcus Rashford. God, we've got a lot of good players now. It's not really showing today, though. And whenever I rotate the team, this happens. It's like rotating the team is the message to them of, oh, you don't need to worry about today. It doesn't matter if we lose. Um, I don't really care because I'm letting some of you fringe players play. So, oh, no, don't you lot come in and try and play well and earn a permanent spot in the team. No, just go out there, do what you want. Who cares? And that seems to be the mindset. And I don't understand it. Donnarumma, stop being rubbish every time I play you. You're supposed to be an up-and-coming world-class goalkeeper. Show me you want to be in the Gustan team. Right, we'll bring Luan on. Actually, we, we've not played Barbosa up front yet. Should we give him a go up front and see what happens? Let's do that, look. You know, I've signed a Wonder Kid striker and it's into March before I try playing him as a striker. He's got plenty of goals as an inside forward. That's why we haven't bothered, because he's been so good cutting him from that right-hand side. 
banging in goals left, right and centre. Right, little Gomez. Cross comes in to Barbosa. He's won a penalty. Oh, he's won a penalty. Who takes it? Who's on number 14? Is that Lamar? Maybe? It is Lamar left foot. I didn't know he was left footed. Well, there you go. He equalises. We are level. The point, the, the gap between us and Juventus stretches back out to 16 points. And we'd, we'd just like, we'd like to win the game now and and stretch it out even further. How was I getting to 18 earlier? Could I just not add up? Or are Juventus playing now? And they've perhaps gone ahead. They're probably playing now, aren't they? That would make a lot of sense. Right, let's bring Maori on for Bozoa. Um, <laughs> I just don't understand how the world works. Uh, of course, they're probably playing when we're playing. That's how football works, Kev. More than one team play at a time sometimes. Gordon Bennett. Right, are we going to grab a winner? I don't think we are, are we? We've just, I mean, although we, on paper, we have a lot of strength in depth, you rotate out half of the players and they are, they're just rubbish. Everyone goes to pot. I don't understand. Oh, well, at least we've not lost. We keep our unbeaten run going once again and we'll just, we'll go and win the league in the next episode. I don't, I'll have to do some maths and work out when the next episode could be. It might be the Europa League quarter final. It might be the chance to win the league. It might even fall that we can do both in one episode. Who knows? That'd be very pleasant. Um, but I'll work all that out and, and I'll get back to you. Don't worry. Um, don't forget FIFA tomorrow. Um, still Football Manager at 4, FIFA at 6. It would be awesome to get your feedback on the FIFA video. I've obviously never done it before. Um, but if you've enjoyed that, make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And thank you very much for watching.